5 Best 2011 Pistols That Will Dominate the 2024 Market When we talk about 2011 pistols, we should be strictly referring to those pistols popularized by STI International Inc., now known as Staccato. Fundamentally, these handguns are based on the 1911 platform, but feature double-stack designs, modular frames, and other modern capabilities, making them a preferred firearm of choice for competition shooters. But it's no longer Staccato that makes these 2011-type pistols. Its market has substantially grown, and there are already 2011 guns out there that are being sold at a budget-oriented price. Still, I'm not here to show you what the cheapest 2011 guns are, but the best of the best. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. In this video, I am going to showcase a number of pistols, whom I think will dominate the 2011 market this 2024. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Bull Armory SS2, TAC. The Bull Armory is similar to IWI in the sense that they are both Israeli-based firearms manufacturers, but Bull Armory has made its mark, particularly in the 2011 market especially in the introduction of high-quality 2011-type pistols, such as the SAS-2 TAC. One thing clear about the SAS-2 TAC is it's not as expensive as other 2011 handguns. It has a street price of only around $1,800, but at the same time, there's no compromise on its construction or performance. This 9mm semi-auto pistol comes with a 5-inch ramped bull barrel and features an astounding 18-round capacity, thanks to its double-stack MBX magazine. Meanwhile, its SAS-2 frame is constructed from rugged aluminum, and this one comes with a picatinny rail that also serves as its dust cover. Going on top, its slide is crafted from stainless steel and features cuts for minimizing its weight. There are serrations on its front and rear as well. As you might have guessed it, this slide accommodates a variety of optics with an RMR footprint. Its trigger weight maxes at 3.5 pounds, which is downright light if you ask me. I'll have to say that its overall black PVD finish isn't the most amazing. However, this pistol prioritizes performance over aesthetics, so I do understand that. This finish also works well in protecting the gun's metal. So how does this gun fare in the range? At first, there's nothing really worth writing about. It's accurate and reliable, but that's just about it. But after 2,000 rounds, the SAS-2 TAC started to show its worth. It maintained its flat shooting and high-speed capabilities. It can still return to zero with ease, and that doesn't even need the help of compensators or custom postings. For its price, the shootability of the Bull Armory SAS-2 TAC is just fantastic. Wilson Combat SFX-9 The Wilson Combat SFX-9 is an excellent 2011-type pistol if you want something that you can carry on a daily basis. This is just a scaled-down 2011 handgun, but the rest of its features and capabilities are still stalwart. Of course, I have to emphasize that this isn't a true 2011 type pistol, but I think that it fits the segment nonetheless. It is a compact 1911 pistol with a double stack design, but has specific elements that distinguish it from the conventional 2011 pistol. Examples of these unique features are its single piece frame, its external extractor, and the absence of a magazine well. Moreover, its overall configuration is intentionally geared for carry purposes and not for race or competitions. Similar to other handguns I featured, this one is a single-action, semi-auto handgun chambered in 9mm. It has a nice barrel length of 4 inches long and a total length of 7.37 inches. Its frame is anodized while the slide boasts a rugged DLC finish. Moreover, both the slide and frame of the gun have impressive metalwork, and they have serrations for easy grabbing. The gun has a capacity of 15 plus one rounds. That's all right. This is just a compact pistol after all. The performance of the gun on the range is quite solid. I like the crispness of its trigger, as well as its lightweight pull, which is about 3.5 pounds. Accuracy is a bit fair, especially since it only has an iron sight. But with the right ammo, it's still possible to maintain sub two inch groupings at 25 yards with this pistol. Nighthawk, Custom TRS Commander I'm pretty sure that the TRS Commander will get more recognition this 2024. 
This single-action, semi-automatic 2011-type pistol has been revered as not just a bona fide range gun, but also an effective home defense weapon. The TRS Commander is chambered in 9mm and boasts a 17 plus 1 capacity, and weighs a little over 2 pounds without its magazine. It's a bit shorter than the likes of Staccato XL and the Atlas Gunworks Athena, with an overall length spanning 7.75 inches. This 2011-style pistol is not just for show, because yes, it's a handsome-looking firearm. It's mechanically perfect and functions the way an expensive gun should. The craftsmanship of the TRS Commander is truly impressive. All the edges and corners have been refined to give operators a pleasurable shooting experience with this pistol. Even its controls are responsive. They aren't mushy, but activate every time you engage them intentionally. The match-grade barrel of the TRS Commander has a length of 4.25 inches, as its name suggests, and is encased in a commander-sized frame. But at the same time, its slide is oversized, which allows for a full grip and easy manipulation. There's also a full-length dust cover installed in the gun, which puts extra weight on its front. This design is quite intuitive, as it helps reduce the muzzle flip when firing the pistol. The sights included in this Nighthawk pistol are already impressive right from the get-go. It comes with a tritium front sight and a Heine Ledge black rear sight with serrations on the back for an anti-glare performance. Meanwhile, its flat-faced trigger is crafted from aluminum and has serrations to induce a positive surface. This trigger has a pull weight of 3.5 to 3.75 pounds. Staccato XL. Honestly, I can fill this entire list with staccato pistols, but that would be pointless. I just said that because, well, staccato pistols are just that great. But since I had to pick one from the bunch, the staccato XL is an obvious choice. You see, the staccato XL is designed as a race gun and showcases competition-ready qualities. It comes with a longer 5.4-inch barrel for better sight radius and accuracy, as well as superb craftsmanship clearly evident in its fit and finish. You can even opt to get a DLC finish on its barrel. Chambered in 9mm, the Staccato XL includes two 17-round mags. Its trigger has been tuned to provide fast reset and clean brakes. If I remember correctly, its trigger pull weight is just 2.5 pounds, which is significantly lighter than the 5-pound trigger pull of Staccato P. Of course, with a light trigger and impeccable sight radius, Shooting the Staccato XL accurately is a lot easier than what my initial impressions are. The reason why it's touted as Staccato's best race gun is because it's a fast shooter. Both its barrel and slide are heavy enough to prevent the sight from going from place to place. And with its light and crisp trigger, rapid firing is not a problem. Furthermore, the Staccato XL is a reliable pistol. You can run this gun for 10,000 rounds, and it won't succumb to one or two failures. The tactical grip of staccato is also embedded in the grip of staccato. The texture is grippy, but not to the point that it becomes too abrasive. Overall, this gun is just astounding, as it exemplifies the quality that staccato puts on its price tag. Atlas Gunworks Athena Atlas Gunworks is a custom firearms manufacturer based in Shelburne, Vermont, and I absolutely love their creations, especially the Athena. While staccato pistols are inarguably the more popular options for the top 2011 pistols, I still think that the Athena of Atlas works better overall. The difference in the performance isn't that great, but I deem that the Athena will work wonders, particularly in the limited optics division of the USPSA. So, for starters, the Atlas Gunworks Athena is a single-action, semi-auto 2011-type pistol, chambered in 9mm. It weighs a little over 2 pounds, and has a full-size length of 8.25 inches. Meanwhile, its barrel is 4.5 inches long and features a trigger pull weight of 1.75 pounds, which is extremely light. What makes the Athena 2011 pistol distinct in the market is that it is a versatile piece of utility. While it's geared for competition shooting, it can also be used for duty and home defense use. I simply love its rugged, all-metal design and a properly thought grip structure that includes options for paneling for customization. Fresh from the box, the pistol is already fitted with a SIG Romeo 3 Max, a wide safety, and an inert grip safety. Just like I said, this configuration makes the Athena a suitable option for the new USPSA division. It's also an accurate pistol, as it can deliver and maintain tight groupings within 25 yards. 
The gun works flawlessly, and that's not an exaggeration on my part. Everything is tight-fitted. The controls are tactile and positive, and the texture on its grip, too, has the ideal aggressiveness to keep my hands stuck even if it's getting sweaty. It slide cycles smoothly, too. Perhaps its only downside is its price. The gun costs about 5,600 dar, which is an amount many would hesitate. Still, beyond the paywall is a gun that won't make you regret it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.